So I was on Reddit today, and someone on r slash 3D modeling was asking if uh, we could model this scene, or if someone could help them model this scene, someone more experienced. And uh, that's not me, really, uh, because I only started using models, started using Blender yesterday. And this is the first thing that I made yesterday. Uh, you know, a nice uh, house. So um, why not try and make this very complicated, not very complicated, but, you know, a nice N64 Mario conspiracy theory level. If anyone knows what well, it actually is, please let me know. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But put it down in the comments. And this is what we're going to try and make today. So let's jump into Blender and have a look. I'm just going to keep this on my uh, other monitor there so we can have a look. So we got the, the default stuff. Uh, as I said, I literally started using Blender yesterday. I've looked at Blender before, I've opened Blender before, I've, even, I've installed Blender before, but until yesterday I never actually made anything and I didn't know how to, so I watched some new tutorials and other things. So let's try and make this today. I'm pretty sure I can import images, so let's try and give that a go. Shift A to add a thing, image, reference images. What am I looking for? Can't remember. Desktop. There it is. Great. Okay. Mm, I suppose you guys can see it, but it's not very helpful for me. G. Put it over there. So let's make a new circle. Eight vertices. Let's. Scale it up. Make it. Just go into edit mode. Tab into edit mode. Let's fill it. Let's turn it around so it rotates on the z axis. There we go. Almost right. What degree do we want? 25? That's where some math comes in. 23 degrees. So what I want to do is we want this to be our walls, so if we do 3 to face select, E to extrude it up, select all the faces, how do I, I can like loop select or something, which I don't know how to do, E to extrude them out, not that E, and along face normals, well, there we go, okay, there's our walls. Where's our picture gone? It's all off dodgy. So that's the flooring. So if we delete this face now, and then we delete this face, and then go in and select these vertices, and then press F, we get the walls. Let's do this for all of them. Okay, so these are walls. We'll add a floor in a minute, but let's do the. We've done the walls. Now we need these column thingies. But this here is a lot less than this here, and there's a door there. So, do we put that in? Do we not? Let's say this is the front. So, let's do a panel select. I to get ourselves how big do we want it? Um, that big I guess. Let's make it full height. Let's go on that again. S full height and I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do that but Bob's uncle, Franny's rant is done. Well, I have no idea. So, that looks a bit like a square from there. And from here, it looks a bit dodge. This. It'll do. It'll do, donkey. It'll do. So, let's now select all these faces. E. Not you, you there. And then let's extrude that out. 
because I think it does come out a little bit not too bad. Let's select that as well. And then let's go and add a modifier, mirror, X and Y. Hey. And I've got all the four pillars. I'll go back to my reference image. So now I've got those four pillars there. And now I'm going to do about this door. So I should put like a, maybe I can just put like a dodgy looking door. We still need to do the ceiling, this cut out here with one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. So there's another octagon in the ceiling. Cut out, and then this uh, bezel bit and a hallway. So let's just apply this first. Apply. Should we try and add a door there? Ooh, I could change it and make. I almost have to move this over. How do I slide this now along the face of this G? And then it's like, I don't know what it is. I've lost that, what is that? See, I can just delete any one there. Let's try it, delete face. Oh no. Pah, look, it's like nothing was there. So let's now make a cube to make our little doorway. Let's rotate it a bit, not that way. Let's rotate it this way. Nope, not that way either. Three times a charm. Let's rotate it that way. Let's move it over here. I just, I just can't get these axes. See, 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 the right. These axes, axes. Okay, now X. No, S. No. Stop. G X. There we are. Okay, let me rotate it just a little bit more, but only on the whatever axis I'm not doing right now. Is it X? Ha <laughs> ha. That was Z. Oh gosh, now I'm, now I've missed it right up. No, GZ. Uh -huh. Again somewhere. Okay, and let's get it down. But only on the X axis. That's not really doing what I want, but I just kind of suppose it is. Is that coming through the back? No. So let's now scale it on the something else axis. Scale. Get S to scale Y. There we go. Ooh, that does not look like we all want it to look like, does it? There we go. That was very hard and definitely not what we wanted to do. But it is a door, I suppose, nonetheless. It will be in a moment when we do work out how to take that out of there. Oh no, I should have made a new, I should have made a new object, because I can't actually intersect that, can I? No, I can't, A, hey. new object, cube, now let's, let's, I know what to do, let's do all our scaling first, stop. Oh my days, I wish I was I wish I just knew what to do. Okay. Now let's G move it up on the Z axis. Haha, <laughs> no, Z. Z and then control to get the snap to the floor. Then let's scale the X axis. <laughs> oh my god, I just I'm just doing things. Y make it nice and long. We want to scale the Z just a bit because it's too tall. But then we also have to drop it down. We could just hide that thing, but let's not worry about it for two seconds. This is much better than what we had before. Rotate. Z axis. More like that. Now, let's move it on the Z axis. Not Z axis. X axis. 
over to about here, let's then move it on the Y axis, straight into the wall. Move it up a bit, and then let's do the z -z 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 X axis again. So we've got a door. Haha! -ha. So now let's try it. Let's go out of this. Let's go into your. I'm going to add a modifier. Boolean. This. This cube object. Doesn't wanna doesn't wanna play. this modified to the cube. That's where I'm going wrong. Stop. Circle. Add modifier. Boolean. Intersect. With a cube. No. Okay. Difference. What was I before? Difference. Union. Apply. No. Okay. Cube. Okay, so that's doing that. So we want to do the opposite of that, right? So if we go to the cube, then we add the modifier, then we do this, then we do intersect. What's going on? Do you know what? I must be on drugs or something. Because I have no idea what's going on. Okay. I have a different approach. Delete. Delete this. Then let's go into edit mode. Edit mode. Let's grab this face. Let's just intersect this face. Whoa. Let's roll with it. Okay. G. Okay. No. Let's watch it. Sorry. Ha. Huh. Conveniently, I was already on the tutorial. Look, see? That's what we were doing. Okay, so we've got a cube there. All right, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna get difference between the cube. Apply. What's the L? Has just happened. Three faces. We have a hole. But we've got our hole. We've got our door, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that's a step closer. So we've done these bits, we've done the floor, we've done the door. We can use that same technique to end to do the roof, which is nice. And then, so let's do the hallway or these things. Let's have a look. Oh, well, we're going to need to lose this, aren't we? We're going to need to lose this hallway. Okay, so we've got rid of all our faces. Now we'll make the corridor, I think. So let's do the same thing. Let's put a new cube in for the corridor so that we can differentiate them. So shift A, cube. Let's do G. No, Z, not Z, X, Y. Gosh, there we go. G. 
this is X. Uh -huh. I can go there. Let's bring it forward a little bit. G. Z Y. I can go there. And then let's bring it up, and then we gotta do some scaling. So G Z got that time. Let's do scale Z all the way to the top and the bottom. Then let's not scale it, but let's move it on the Y all the way down here. Scale it on the Y. I've got a nice corridor and let's add a modifier to mirror it to get both sides of our corridor. Mirror it on the why is that not working? Mirror it on the It's not doing anything at all. Mirror object this. Ah, there we go. We've got some corridors now. We want to bring these on a bit of an angle. We want to rotate them on the X axis. I'll get these right ones. There we are. There we go. So now we've got our points in our thing. So that's a little points there for the corridor. Um, let's put a roof on. So let's make another cube. Let's do shift A cube. Let's move it up on the z-axis, across on the y-axis, uh -huh. scale it on the y, can just do the whole, can we do the whole roof? Let's do the whole roof, and probably, probably do the floor too. Now, let's do... to do what to do what to do we have to do that afterwards we have to do the bezels first on the top of this building thing so oh we have got a little bit of a chamfer on this edge here which is not good so let's go to edit mode and let's bring not rotate Let's move that down. There we go, that's better. And then we can move this one. <laughs> if we do that, we can move that one up there. Let's do that the same for all of these. <laughs> Shift and cross. G Z. G Z. There we go. And this last one, G Z. G Z. So now they're all flat. So let's extrude this up a bit, so we can get ourselves that uh, chamfery bit around the top that we need for the the bezels. I suppose though, if we look on this now, we do need the the roof is at the same height as that. So let's put that in first, or maybe we can put maybe we can put it in now. So let's do 
Alright, we're going to type new cube for ceiling GZ G Y. Let's scale it down on the Z axis. Let's scale it. Mm, no, that's not scale. Scale on the X axis. Let's move it up a little bit more. about there <laughs> all the way let's face select all of these now face select that one and then extrude up and you can see where we're going with this one so we can put that there and then we probably should have had some across here but maybe I can do it with that one and then See, I don't understand what's going on here. Let's roll with it for now. Let's grab those ones, grab this one, that one, this one here, and that, and then extrude along face normals. So extrude along face normals. Wow, not what I wanted to do, okay. There you go, look, so why is that one a lot further in than the rest of them? Oh, maybe I can just grab those and extrude them out. Hey. No idea why that wasn't the same, but let's just fix it up. Let's do off and then grab those ones, extrude them out. Probably should have, like, done this to the same depth, but... Oh well, extrude, and then the last one, extrude that out too. So let's go in here, is this kind of the look we're going for? It is! Oh, I've lost myself, there we are. Lovely stuff. But now, what does our uh, corridor look like? These walls aren't pointy enough. So let's go into our cube. Then let's go into edit mode. Can we. Is this still got the mirror on? Yeah, I never applied it. So apply the mirror. Then edit mode. No, we was already in it. Hmm. No, now we're in edit mode. Okay. So let's grab both of those. And then let's just. Rotate them a little bit more. Rotate on the Z axis. Oh, no, that's going to do that. So let's not do that. Let's do one at a time. Rotate Z. Here we go. Some nice pointy walls. Rotate Z. And then we're going to have to move them across a bit. So G. X, oh, no, I pressed rotate, so G, X, there we go, G, X, and there's our pointy walls back, so let's go back to a reference image, it doesn't look too bad, but we need these, the bezel around the top of there now, we go on this as well, so, how to do that, let's grab that one, can I grab that one? I can't grab that one at the same time, so let's screw this up. Now I'm thinking I probably should have made this out of one material, one texture, whatever you want to call it. Um okay, okay, okay. So now then let's go to our ceiling cube. Let's Grab that face, extrude it up. There we go, it's coming together. Grab this face, extrude it out. Mm, okay, well, 
we'll scale it down on the x-axis okay I'm way too close scale it on the x yes mm, okay maybe not so yes let's try and do some fine tuning here Scroll on to vertices select no scale scale zero bring those together there we go doesn't look too bad a little bit of uh, a little bit of editing g let's bring that across let's bring that one across too g and then let's grab both of those scale zero lovely and then these two scale zero that's our roof sorted out the bezel bit so then we need a big old cube then to go on the floor and we need a big old cube to go on the roof which will cut the octagon out of so shift a shift s that's shift s shift a let's do the floor first so just a big old cube cube g x y z hold control to get it on the floor and then let's just scale this no that's not what i wanted to do i want to scale it on the x to out there and then i want to scale it on the y to like a billion Let's go halfway because then we can move it down on the Z so we don't not just way too much. Y, that's what I want. Let's go there. Let's scale it on the Y some more. Lovely, jubbly. So then let's shift D to duplicate it. Let's bring it up here. Let's move it on the X to this was just above the roof. Maybe intersect in a bit. And then G X G Y G Y. To bring it to it. Let's go in. Lovely stuff. Let's see you can see a little bit of work he's doing there. That corner. But other than that, I don't know. How are you supposed to move around in indoor spaces? I'm like in the roof. Okay, let's go down. Lovely jubbly. Okay, let's fix that right now before I forget. Tab. Face select. Let's just take that up. So, do I want to take it up or I want to bring this down? Don't I? This one, yeah. Tap. That wall. Tap. Face select. I want to bring it down on the Z axis. Hmm. Why is that then? Oh, because it's angled. Why? This doesn't look the same, does it? No, the ceiling is in line with that thing. Okay. So, let's do tab G. Z bang here we go smashed it so now let's do what we were doing before let's go into tab into edit mode on this bit run to X tab face select extrude this like way up 
and then we need another circle and this we're gonna have to make sure it's like right smack on out of bed mode let's make a new circle a new mesh circle G where are you circle scale Let's bring it over here. If I could work out what my X and Y's were. Let's get it down a bit. Let's rotate it that same amount of degrees we did at the start. So, do, 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 what was it? 23 degrees, rotate. I just like because I don't want it to be zero. I want to rotate it on the x axis 23 degrees. No, I didn't. I want to rotate it on the y axis 23 degrees. No, I didn't want to do that either. What am I trying to do? Z. Yes, maybe. Did I not change that back? Oh. Oh, I can just change two of these. Now it's all fricked up. Okay, I probably like to change something. No, I did the extrusion last, so that's good. Okay, now let's do this try again. Ah. Zero. Enter, and then we want to do 23 degrees on the, we don't know what axis it is yet, not that one, not that one, or that one, what? What the elk is going on? I swear it's the x axis, is it what, is it this, global? No, it's not. There. Why did that take so much time and effort? Okay, so then let's hide this big boy. Let's go down with this. and get in the middle of the floor. Maybe right on that spot would be good. We're in the middle. So, G, Z is up. So that's not what we want. Stop, G, X. There, G, Y. Here we are. Lovely stuff. Let's put a fill in there. Then this. No, 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 no. We haven't done the fill. Fill. Yes. Then extrude. Ooh. Extrude some more. Let's then. I don't I think that's a bit too big. L. Let's get it down very slightly. There we go, let's put the cube back in. Then let's do some intersecting add modifier. See if I can remember which one I have to add it to. Let's go out of edit mode, let's go into here. Let's do Boolean difference, this one. Apply, bam, pull this up on the Z axis. We got a hole, ladies and gentlemen. Well, color me impressed, eh? For a free model from the internet. I want to add that also he said he could do the texture in himself, whoever this guy was. So, 
for some free guy on Reddit. Let's pull this back. See if we can get the same angle that you wanted to. Hmm. Maybe. Let's grab up our let's add another image. Let's add our reference image back in. So we can see how well we've done or oh, haven't done. Okay, I still don't know how to move these, so I'll move everything. Stop. You. Just, 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 just you. Look at that. We're basically geniuses. Maybe. We'll see what he says about it, shall we? I'll say, here you go, love. And he'll say, should have done it myself. Absolutely terrible. Thanks. Anyway, thanks for Nish. Oh, I'll see. Love you. So there we go. If you want to see me model some more stuff or any other tech things, check out the channel. Um, we post videos like this every week, every day, every other day. And um, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.